Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in today's video we will discuss about the metabolism of branch chain amino acids. So we are all aware there are three branch chain amino acids, valine, leucine and isoleucine. So to talk about all these three branch chain amino acids are essential in nature. So we need not to worry about its synthesis, so only the catabolism part we have to concentrate. And valine is glucogenic, leucine is ketogenic. Whereas isoleucine is both ketogenic and glucogenic. So, three variations in three branch chain amino acids. Valine is glucogenic and leucine is ketogenic. So, leucine and lysine both are ketogenic. Okay. And isoleucine is both ketogenic and glucogenic. So, lysine don't get confused. Lysine is a basic amino acid, not a keto, I mean, not a branch chain amino acid. Okay. So, all the essential amino acids, I mean, all these three are essential amino acids. Leucine is the major ketogenic amino acid. These amino acids serves as alternative source of fuel for the brain, especially under conditions of starvation, that to prolong starvation. So, because blood brain barrier, apart from glucose, it will not allow any other substance to get in and produce energy. So, next to glucose, only the so, I mean, alternate fuel to the brain is these ketone bodies. So, that means leucine, when it undergoes degradation, it forms ketogenic substances which enter into the brain and they form energy. So, for our convenient point of view, we'll see, I mean, like what are all the enzymes will require uh, for the metabol uh, catabolism of uh, these uh, branch chain amino acids like valine, leucine and isoleucine. So these three I mean like uh, acted by the same set of enzymes. So first enzyme is like transamination, second is decarboxylation, third is dehydrogenation, fourth uh, I mean like from fourth onwards individual reactions are there. So that means any branch chain amino acid you take, the first three reactions are common that is transamination, decarboxylation and dehydrogenation. So, valine is also undergoing uh, transamination, leucine is also undergoing transamination, isoleucine is also undergoing transamination and in second step also all these three are undergoing decarboxylation and third step dehydrogenation. And from fourth step onwards, valine take its separate route, leucine also takes separate route and isoleucine also taking its divergent route. Okay, so for first valine, when it undergo transamination, it converted to alpha keto isovaleric acid and leucine converted to alpha keto isocaproic acid and isoleucine converted to alpha keto beta methyl valeric acid. So when I undergo oxidative decarboxylation with the help of coenzyme A, okay, so alpha keto isovaleric acid converted to isobutyryl CoA and alpha keto isocapric acid of leucine converted to isovaleryl CoA and isoleucine converted to alpha methyl butyryl coa that means alpha keto uh, beta methyl valeric acid converted to alpha methyl butyryl coa and the next step is dehydrogenation it is fad dependent dehydrogenation reaction and here isobutyryl coa which is coming from valine valine converted to methyl acrylyl coa and isovaleryl coa from leucine converted to beta methyl crotonyl coa and alpha methyl butyryl coa which is coming from isoleucine converted to tglyl coa Okay, so fourth step individual reactions. So H2O to be added to remove CoA to form beta hydroxy isobutyrate from valine. And in leucine, there will be addition of carbon dioxide with the help of biotin because all carboxylation reactions in our body will take place with the help of vitamin B7 that is biotin. So to form beta methyl gluta uh, glutaconyl CoA and isoleucine to add water, I mean, like uh, to form alpha methyl beta hydroxy butyryl CoA. Right. So now the fifth individual reaction, whatever beta hydroxy isobutyrate from valine, it is an NAD dependent dehydrogenase which is acting to form melanyl CoA. Melanyl CoA converted into uh, succinyl CoA and succinyl CoA can be entering into uh, TCA cycle. So that's why valine is glucogenic. And leucine, you see, so here it is beta methyl glutaconyl CoA. So hydrolysis will take place. Beta hydroxy beta methyl glutyl CoA. So HMG CoA. You can see this substance in ketogenesis. So it is ketogenic. And isoleucine, if you see, it is also NA dependent dehydrogenation. Methyl alpha methyl ester ester CoA. So here, methyl alpha, I mean, methyl ester ester CoA. So methyl CoA and ester estate and methyl CoA, they will be both entering into glucogenic as well as ketogenic so five reactions for all the branch chain amino acids okay first three reactions are common the same enzyme 
okay and from fourth step there are individual like there will be addition of water molecule to valine and isoleucine that there is addition of carbon dioxide to leucine and finally there is nad dependent dehydrogenation for valine and isoleucine except leucine leucine undergoing hydrolysis to form hmg coa that means hexa uh, beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coa which is uh, intermediate of uh, ketone body synthesis so end products what to form here so b12 coenzyme to form succinyl coa as i told you and it is a glucogenic only and hng coa lies to ester state and ester coa ketogenic and cleavage to form ester coa and propenyl coa so they are ketogenic okay and then glucogenic so this way the different fates of these branched chain amino acids the disorders related to branched chain amino acids are maple syrup urine disease okay and isovaleric aciduria so first we'll discuss about maple syrup urine disease so maple syrup urine disease otherwise known as msud or branched chain ketonuria the incidence is 1 per 1 lakh births the name originates from the characteristic smell of urine similar to burnt sugar or maple sugar that means sweet smell due to excretion of branched chain keto acids in the urine the basic biochemical defect is deficient decarboxylation of branched chain keto acids okay and clinical findings this is starts in the first week of life it is characterized by convulsions severe mental retardation vomiting acidosis coma death within first year of life laboratory findings urine contain branched chain keto acids valine leucine and isoleucine because the main enzyme deficient here is decarboxylation enzyme that means alpha keto acid dehydrogenase okay alpha keto acid dehydrogenase which uh, involves uh, decarboxylation so if there is no decarboxylation it cannot be further converted into its dehydrogenated products so which is to be positive here for maple syrup urine disease ruthras test is positive uh, but unlike in case of ketoacidosis even boiled uh, and cooled urine will give the test diagnosis depends on enzyme analysis in cells diagnosis should be done prior to one week after birth the treatment has to be like giving diet low in branched chain amino acid is uh, may work a mild variant is called intermittent branched chain ketonuria this will respond to high dose of thymine this is because the decarboxylation of branched chain keto acids required thymine if you go through the picture here you see normal i mean like protein from food protein from muscles branched chain amino acids they form because branched chain keto acid uh, dehydrogen enzymes energy and growth so if in case of msud so branched chain keto uh, acid dehydrogenase enzymes are deficient so build up of branched chain amino acids and other substances acidosis and mental retardation will be seen next is isovaleric aciduria this is also one of the deficiency symptom um, deficiency disorder of uh, isovaleric i mean branched chain amino acids so here leucine catabolism is affected severe metabolic acidosis and neurological deficit can be seen it is often fatal in early childhood the characteristic fnc odor in urine is a first sign of the abnormal excretion of this metabolite okay what is this the fnc odor of urine in the first sign in abnormal excretion of this metabolite the defect lies in the reaction number 3 that is fad dependent dehydrogenation so that this leucine cannot be converted into further product so the accumulation of uh, leucine itself causing this isovaleric aciduria so that's all about branched chain metabolism branched chain amino acid metabolism thanks for watching thank you